Robot vacuums may be convenient, but they often miss areas around your home that are hard to reach, like under your kitchen and bathroom cabinets. My name is Jamie Andrews, and today we are going to look at an endurance test, the Tab T9 Pro. It is yet another mop that both vacuums your hard floors and mops them at the same time. I was first drawn to the T9 Pro due to the uniquely designed dual roller brush system with edge cleaning on one side that is similar to the Tinko 1S5 but with an added roller brush in the rear. The rollers sort of float across the floor making it easy to push and turn but it does take some getting used to. With the Tab T9 Pro you get a self cleaning dock system designed to clean the dual roller brushes as well as a 800 milliliter clean water tank and a 600 milliliter dirty water tank, which are average in size. They even include a bottle of cleaning solution and an extra filter in the box. There is a small easy to read screen at the handle that shows your battery percentage and any water tank alarms. You have three buttons, which besides the power button, there is a mode button to switch between auto and water absorption mode, and a button to turn the voice prompts on and off. Alright, the dual roller brushes are pretty easy to remove for cleaning and everything that you need to clean is just right there and very easy to get to. The dock is simplistic with its two-piece lightweight design, though I should mention that you will have to do some assembly to mount the charging neck. I took the T9 Pro through a few of my endurance tests, starting with my most expensive test nowadays with a few cracked eggs which proved to be no issue for this machine. Next we move on to my baked on hot sauce test where I bake on hot sauce on my tile floor and see how well the mop is able to clean it up. You can see the T9 Pro really excelled with this test and it was the first time I discovered the rear roller does most of the heavy scrubbing. You see the front roller spins in a forward direction while the rear roller spins about 20% slower in reverse. Again, an interesting design that also helps explain why the rear roller does most of the scrubbing since it spins in reverse. Okay, so how about some dry spills like cat food? Yep, no problem here either. How about a cat litter test? Well, it did overwhelm the mop a bit. As you can see here, it started to eject it out of the front. But keep in mind, this is an extreme use case too. It did marginally well with my flour grout cleaning test taking a few passes to get most of it up. The final test is the edge cleaning test. Keep in mind the T9 Pro only has edge cleaning really on one side. However, it did a fantastic job on that one side, matching their claim of 0.5 centimeters or 5 millimeters. Let's go ahead and jump into some pros and cons, starting with the pros. The first pro is with the dual roller brush design that will never ever scratch your precious floors due to the unique floating roller brush design. This also means the full weight of the device is helping to apply downwards pressure without support from roller wheels, and it does indeed scrub floors very well, especially hard to get up stains. I also found myself liking the dual roller system when cleaning between doorways and around corners making it easy to get edge to edge and wall to wall thanks to the front and back edge rollers. The water control was good and even, although a slight bit on the heavy side, leaving a little bit of water here and there on my floor. Thankfully you can switch to a water absorption mode to help remove excess water. I was truly impressed by the battery life and got around 40 minutes in auto mode which is up there in terms of battery life expectancy. The final pro is the design of the dirty water tank to keep water off of the paper filter, which helps extend the life of the filter and vacuum motor. And also how cool is the LED light in the dirty water tank to help you see the level. Moving on to the cons, the first one being that it goes through a bunch of water during the self-cleaning cycle on the dock. And by a lot, I mean almost a half a water tank. I measured around 350 milliliters per cleaning, which in turn wastes a bunch of the cleaning solution. I noticed the T9 did not do so well with hair pickup, with most of it not making it into the waste tank, and I also found a good bit of debris left at the cleaning heads even after several wash cycles on the dock, despite the extra water usage. 
Other minor gripes are that I wish I had a way to switch into a max mode, as auto mode does not boost as often as other mops that I have tested. Next, I must frequently clean the dock, which does not get cleaned too well by the mop. And lastly, while I like the floating roller brush system, I found after 15 or 20 minutes, it started to fatigue my hands a bit trying to control the movements. It is something you would have to experience to fully understand, and it is a unique design. With all the pros and cons aside, the Tab T9 Pro impressed me with the unique design and front to back and edge roller cleaning system. It was able to clean all of those places my robots are not able to get, which in turn makes our lives a bit easier. Links to purchase in the description, and I want to thank you for watching and ask that you take two seconds to subscribe to my channel for more review videos. Take it easy, everyone. Bye-bye.